This is an awesome sauce to finish off any dish, especially good on eggs, Benedict, as you know. Fish, vegetables, whatever. So there you go, these are your quick hollandaise for this evening. And that's this week's Finishing Touches, brought to you by Deli Star and etc. The guys here just rolling off their um, pork dumplings. Yeah, pork binds itself because it's got a pretty high fat content, so you don't okay. actually have to put any binders with it. Unfortunately, this pork is a bit leaner than usual. It's not holding quite as well. And you just got to put those straight into the, the, the broth. Yep. They'll go straight into Work. the broth and cook like that. The lamb coming on really nicely there. Really looks beautiful. You can see nice and sealed on the outside, but obviously keep it nice and, and tender and juicy, not too overdone in the center. So back here with Adrian. Just tell us a little bit about what you're doing, Adrian. I was just doing julienne leek, and we're okay. going to uh, deep fry them for a garnish. Okay, lovely. It's going for, to be, uh, for our viewers who wouldn't be familiar with what a julienne cut is, could you just describe it? Uh, it's just like a real thin, long cut, like okay. a matchstick, but okay. extra yep. thin, yeah. Yep. So you can see those, how thin they are now. And you're going to deep fry those, you said, yeah? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, just for a garnish. Yep. So Adrian, how long have you been working at... Um, the Devon Hotel? Uh, about eight months, going on eight months now. Okay. Obviously you enjoy it? Uh, definitely, mate. And most of your work, would that be involved with the Marbles Buffet or some of the function and other work here at the uh, Devon Hotel? A bit of both, eh? Okay. Uh, a lot of marble stuff, but uh, do a bit of function too. Right. Okay, so Damon has his leagues prepared. Are you going to put those through into the stock at the yeah, they take the least to cook, so they'll okay. go in last. We've got the kuma and the carrots in there already. So the root vegetables take it depends. six or seven minutes longer, possibly? It yeah, probably not that much. Um, I've tried to cut, made the root vegetables smaller as well, so that um, they cook faster. Okay. I'm just cutting some nori into a leek here, which we're going to deep fry all together. Form a garnish for the lamb dish. So as you can see, things going on really nicely here. We have 15 minutes gone, um, 10 minutes to go before the guys be presenting their dishes for the judges. And while we're waiting, we'll just shoot back over to Rachel with the girls at the Mountain House, see how they're doing. Okay, what have you got there? Um, just chocolate, and you put it in a bag just to make the Is that just a plastic, look pretty? Just a plastic bag, is it? Yep, yeah, just any plastic bag will do. Ah, excellent. For those people at home who don't have the commercial piping bags, Plastic bags actually work better than piping bags for chocolate. Yeah. Because you can get the hull the exact size that you want it. So piping bags, you're restricted by the size of the things it comes with. Yep. Okay, so. you're just doing chocolate runouts by the looks of it. Is that just decoration for your chocolate mousse? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like there's an art to it. You had lots of practice doing that. Um, oh, it's not very difficult. Anyone can do it. I think maybe the hole is just a bit too big, but that's okay. An easier way to do it rather than um, boiling off the chocolate is you just put the whole bag in the microwave <coughs> with the chocolate in it. Yep. Learn new things every day. Okay, well, you got five minutes left. Feeling confident with that? Yep, that's yep. good. Everything seems to be under control here. Yep. Okay, well, while you're busy doing that, let's go and see how Joe's getting on with the team at the Devon. So I've got the lamb just... Um Pretty much ready to go? Pretty much. We're going to slice it into cutlets. Okay. Because we've gone quite well for time, I've done a um, ginger and garlic glaze to go with this as okay, well. Okay, excellent. As well as using the secret ingredient of ginger in the yep. seasoning on yep. the lamb when you cooked it. Right. So what have you used to make the glaze, Damon? Uh, a, a glaze is basically just beef stock. We use 25 kilos of bones to make about 50 litres of stock, and excellent. we reduce that to about a third. Excellent. It looks like they're starting to plate up. This is the stir fry vegetables. Yep, which is containing the ginger. It is indeed. Yep. So what have you got in there? Um, we've got the red onion, the ginger, a bit of cabbage, red capsicums, spinach, a bit of seasoning, cracked black pepper. Nice. And then just the chicken on top, is it? And just the chicken. And the chicken has... This is the chicken that we stuffed with uh, the chicken breast and spinach and sun-dried tomatoes. And wrapped in streaky bacon. And wrapped in streaky bacon. Lovely. And our 
chocolate mousse for dessert. Now I guess it's just over to the judges to see what they think of these creations. Okay, this is our um, alpine chicken. Okay, it's served on a bed of sparsely with a stir fry vegetable. This is our dessert, which is it's called mountain mud. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, beautiful. Okay, Shona, so you were thinking of a wine match for that? Um, yeah, I prefer uh, S Valley Chardonnay, which is quite a, like it's a dry wine, so it will bring out the flavour in the chicken. Okay, and it should go well with the ginger as well. Very nice. Thank you. Just got the pork ginger dumpling soup ready. Smells great. Unfortunately, our viewers won't know that, but that's the, one of the great parts about my job. So just about on the 25 minutes now, the guy is just plating up. So that's just about it. Here are the guys and the team. The only thing left to do now is to serve it up to the judges and we await their opinions, see what they think of everything. So here we are, the moment we waited for with the judges and Damon's just about ready to present his two wonderful creations and explain what he's got. And we have the pork dumpling soup entree, a bit of chilli and ginger. And this is our main medium rear lamb rack with garlic and ginger. Uh, garlic and ginger glaze and poached vegetables with an Asian sort of a slant on it. So the judges pretty much making up their mind here. Um, we'll retreat very shortly to their enclave and we'll see what decision they have come to today between the Mountain House and the Devon Hotel. Well, what a fantastic day we've had today um, with the Mountain House and the Devon. Um, very, very difficult, I think you'll agree, you guys. Um, anyway, first of all, we'll have a look at the Mountain House. Ralph, what are your thoughts on the um, girls? I thought they were a great team. They worked really well together. Uh, they had. Um, good planning with their menu and uh, the main and the dessert, it worked pretty well, uh, lacking the secret ingredient in the dessert, which yeah. cost them a little bit. They kept their ideas fairly simple, but they did them really well, and the flavours and the food came through, um, it all matched. I, I agree, it's a shame, because I think ginger would have worked well in that yeah. uh, chocolate mousse, yeah. um, and it's a real shame they, they didn't think about that, and, and that possibly could have cost them in the long run. Okay, so from there, over to the Devon, which was equally as fascinating. Very, very organised in the kitchen, very professional. Uh, their technical skills were probably the best we've seen uh, so far, and it really came out. Beautiful Asian broth, outstanding flavours. It was really good. Mm. I'd, I'd be more than happy paying mm. good money for that. I thought maybe a little bit too much heat in the, in the soup, but it's just for the... I mean, I like chilli, but some people may not like that too much. Um, and using the, the stock as a basis for both sauces worked really well, gave it a real richness and uh, yeah, great skills in the kitchen, good organisation and uh, good team. Yeah, nobody shamed themselves and I think that's the, 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 the thing about today. Yeah, it was very, very high quality today and, and that came through in the, in the flavours of the food. Um, and the teamwork, I think, and personal presentation and all those, those things that make a, a team, a great team. Some glowing testimonials for both teams today. The Mountain House were impressive across the board, scoring high in all categories. All the judges were impressed by the girls' teamwork and thought the dishes would be a huge success on the menu. Leaving the ginger out of the dessert was really the only damp on the otherwise outstanding effort. Overall, the Mountain House scored 87 points. The judges were just as impressed by the standard that Devon produced. Teamwork and technical skills, as well as the flavour of the food and excellent presentation, all stood out. In the closest result we could ever have, the judges awarded the Devon 88 points, meaning the Devon Hotel advanced to the semi-final. This match was really close and both teams can be proud of their efforts. Join us next time as Salt take on Crowder House in match 4 of Battle of the Chefs.
Battle of the Chefs was proudly brought to you by Pack and Save. Everything we do, we do to save you money. In conjunction with Etc. and the Practical Education Institute. Battle of the Chefs was also proudly supported by the Hospitality Standards Institute, supporting industry training. For more information, call 0800 275 4474 or visit www.hsi.co.nz.